in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. In the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, amen, now and forevermore. Brethren, I am true Christ witness, A.B. Christopher, here in Uganda, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Today we are going to present a topic which is precisely taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18. In that scripture, the scripture says, St. Paul wrote to us that what communication does a believer has with an unbeliever? What has Christ with Belial? That what communion did a believer has with infidel? This is the topic we are going to handle today. And precisely, we are going to concentrate on verse 17. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them and touch the things that are unclean. Touch not the unclean things. Then I will be a God to you, and ye will be my sons and daughters. Precisely on verse 17. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18. Precisely on verse 17. Come out from among them and touch not the unclean things. Touch nothing that is unclean. Then you will be my sons and daughters, and I will be your God. I will be your father. This is the topic we are going to handle today. I, through Christ witness, A.B. Christopher, as I've introduced myself to you here in Uganda, Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Brethren, now the whole world call upon God. The Christians call upon God. The Muslims call upon God. They are Christians. The Buddhas, the Hindus, the Ekis, the Gurus, everybody as many religions that are in the world, everybody call upon God. Now, the question is that, how do we separate ourselves from unclean things? Today, we are looking for a, a clean city, a new Jerusalem, a purified and sanctified city, a city that only righteousness dwells, according to Second Peter chapter 3. Verse 13, he said, according to his promise, we are waiting for a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Now let us come to the issue. What are the unclean things in this world? Because so many of Christians are confused. The Muslims are confused. They say, touch nothing on, that is, don't touch unclean things. Things that are unclean, don't touch them. Don't associate with people who don't have the fear of God. Don't associate with people who do not have the wisdom of God. Don't associate with defiled people, people who are already defiled. Separate yourself for God. Separate yourself from the world. Come out from their midst. That is the invitation that was given to us by God Almighty. He said, wherefore, come out from their midst and separate yourself. Touch not the unclean things. This instruction, how many people have listened to it? How many religious sects have listened to it? Now, God is not partial in all his operations. We are not talking about unclean things. So many people are in ties with the activities of this world or with money, with influential people, with people in positions, and they go to the unclean things. Now, you have had invitations. Separate yourself from unclean things. Separate yourself from unclean people. Separate yourself. Come out from their midst. Because we do not belong to this world. Our Lord Jesus Christ told us in the Gospel according to John chapter 17. He said from verse 12 to 16. He said, as I am not of this world, so also you are not of this world. Therefore, know thyself, though you are in the world, but you are not of the world. Therefore, separate yourself from unclean things. Today, people embrace unclean things. People welcome unclean things. Both the Christians and the Muslims. They are Krishna, the Buddhas. Very few people that have not touched these unclean things. So many are called, few are choosing. Even among the Muslims, it's not everybody that touched unclean things. Among the Christians, it's not everybody that touched unclean things. Both the Hindus, the Arab Krishnas, the Buddhas, the Ekis, 
Now, the question is that if you are in the midst of these unclean people, unclean things, how do you live your life? How will you separate yourself from them? Make sure you don't associate with them. Now, today, look at the so-called big men, prominent men. Have they not corrupt the world? Have they not corrupt this world? Imagine people who said they are Christians, people who said they are godly, people who know God, who call upon God. If you watch what they are doing to their fellow man, how then are we going to agree that they don't touch on things? All the sexual immoralities, immoral acts on this earth right now that is going on, is it not human being that is carrying them out? Are they not the Christians and the Muslims? They are the Christians, the Buddhists, and the Hindus? Are they not the same people who call upon God, who taught us to follow God, who taught us to follow religion that will lead us to, God, to heaven, to heaven, to a new city, to a clean city? Now, not everybody will be defiled. Not everybody is corrupt. So look for those who are not touching on clean things and associate yourself to those who are pure in art, those who call upon the Lord from a pure art, from a clean hands. Seek for those people and associate yourself to them. Do not associate yourself to unclean people, to defiled people, to contaminated things. Separate yourself. Because the scripture told us in First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16 and 17, he said, don't you know that your body is the temple of the living God? that nobody should defile the temple of the living God. And whosoever defile the temple of the living God will be destroyed. That your body is the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit. Christ put it in another way. He said, not all that call me Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of my Father. But those who do the will of my Father, they will inherit the kingdom of God. Now, look at the world. Man marrying man, is that something very clean that people are drooping eh? the the white men which claim that they have advanced they are knowledgeable are they not the people introducing this thing trying to defile the temple of the living god women marrying women men marrying women and blessed in the altar of god there are so many churches who claim they are going they are worshiping god that bless gay marriage homosexual acts and yet Children of God are there looking at them and associate with such people, sitting down with such people, eating with such people. Do they remember that 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14 to 18 told us that we should separate ourselves from them? Separate yourself. There is no communion between Christ and Belial. There is no communion with believer and unbeliever. And you see children of God are still lavishly in those temples. Temples that... A priest bless gay marriage and still he has a congregation of children of God are still there claiming that uh, uh, you, that is, is their right. What type of right is that? Eh? Is their right to defile yourself? People organize themselves, organize girls and pay them money and sex them with animals like dogs and people are still moving with such people, eating with such people after knowing that this set of people are defiling people, defiling themselves, corrupting the world. And people are still associating. If you know such people, separate yourself from them. Because God in his judgment shall not spare them. This set of people shall not spare because they are the destroyers of this earth. And since they don't have the fear of God and they don't pursue righteousness, anything that is unclean, anything that is not planted by the Father, anybody who is corrupting people, defiling the system, going against the teachings of Christ, which is antichrist, antichristism. People who go against the, the law of nature will not be spared in this judgment of God that is going on in the world. Therefore, children of God, it is high time to separate yourself from them. Do not eat with them. Don't associate with them in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the information we are giving every one of us, that the time is up. There is no more time. The world is passing away. All this system of evil, all this system of corrupt things and defiled things are passing away by earthquake, 
by tsunami, by hurricane, by deadly diseases, by white fire, by change of climate, by any way God will destroy this set of people, this system of things will be wiped out from this earth. By terrorism, everything is moving. The angels are fully at work. Even though men do not know that these are angels of God or weapons of God, the weapons of God are fully at work trying to make sure that they wipe away all those who are defiling the system and going against, against the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the period we are now, the era we are, this dispensation. is a very critical, it's a perilous time. For every evil doer, there will be no hiding place for man. And therefore, children of God, if you find yourself in the midst of such people, you better separate yourself. You better come out from their midst because this judgment will not spare anybody who promote all these acts will never be spared on earth plane because we are waiting for the holy city to overtake man the new heaven and the new earth such things will not be tolerated such things cannot enter and therefore it is high time for the children of god to know themselves and come out from their midst and touch not these unclean things because these unclean things have defiled man today man is roaming about with his problems they don't know where to solve them. Look at the white men who claim that they have advanced. You know, they are knowledgeable in technology and science. Why are they running elter scatter? Why are they looking for solutions here and there? Why are they covering their masks with masks? Why are they taking vaccination? Can vaccination and covering of masks or sanitizing their hands make them to be free from this corrupt system of things? The heaven is fully at work against the earth. And whosoever does not practice righteousness, must be surely wiped out from this earth. There's no turning back. The, the journey has started. The judgment is already on course and no turning back. Gradually, gradually, the Lord God Almighty, who is now on earth, personified in the, the Olumba Olumba, who has handed over the judgment to his son, according to the gospel, uh, according to the gospel of St. John chapter 5, verse 19 to 23. The son told us that the father judged no man, but has handed all judgment unto the son, that whoever honored the son, honored the father, and whoever does not honor the son, does not honor the father. So therefore, this judgment is on course because the son of God that was crucified on the cross of Calvary who has reincarnated in person in his holiness, Olumba, Olumba, has seated on his judgment throne and is going around the entire world, visiting nation upon nations to make sure that the judgment is carried out by his angels. So therefore, children of God, wherever you are, whether you are in the Muslim midst, in the midst of the Muslims, whether you are in the midst of the Christians, whether you are an Arab Christian, whether you are a Buddha, you are Hindus, Ekis, Gurus, wherever you find yourself, as long as you know that you are a child of God, you are among the elects, that you have got this information of keeping yourself clean, keeping yourself undefiled, pure, for your master, the Holy Spirit separate yourself from them do not associate with them don't touch anything don't even touch their money because the system you have seen that they are patronizing evil and they are looking for women and men to defile hmm? they are looking for, how can normal human being because of money our girls have been given to dogs and people are there looking at them taking pictures and rejoicing with such type of defilement and such people will be spared by the weapons that have come down from heaven. Such people cannot be spared. So we are praying. Our God is fully at work. Children of God, this is a time of joy because separate yourself from the world so that you will not perish together with the world. Come out from their midst because the angels are fully at work, just like the time of Moses. When the Passover was made, the angels of death enter Egypt and they visit house to house. It was only the children of Israel that was spared because they have the fear of God. They were soothing people. Therefore, if you know yourself, and if you hate evil, come out from their midst before you'll be overtaken. Because the kingdom that is going to take over the earth is the kingdom of righteousness. According to what John has said, that, and I saw a new heaven and a new earth, that the first heaven and the first earth has passed away. And I, John, saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven, prepared as a bride for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is now with men, and we shall be his people, and God himself will dwell with us and be our God, and the former things will pass away. That is according to Revelation chapter 21, verse 1 to 4, that the former things will pass away. 
that God is coming to do a new Zorus, a new city. We don't want to mix up with these people. So therefore, separate yourself for a new city which God has already arranged that nothing defied will enter. That is Revelation chapter 21, verse 22 to the end. He said, only those whom their names are written in the Lamb's book of life shall inherit this holy city. So therefore, if you know that you hate evil, separate yourself from this set of people. Separate yourself from falsehood. Separate yourself from deceiving people. Separate yourself from this corrupt system of things. Keep yourself holy, no matter the circumstances. Our God is here with us to overcome for each and every one of us all over the world. Among the Muslims, among the Christians, among the Arab Christians, wherever they are, the Buddhas, Hindus, the children of God are scattered all over the world. And this is the time to gather them into one kingdom, the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ, which is written in Revelation chapter 11, verse 15, that when he had the last, last trumpet sounded, he had a voice saying, the kingdoms of this world has become the kingdom of our Lord and his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Righteousness has come to reign. Jehovah God and his Christ is here on earth to reign. Therefore, he's gathering the children, bringing them out of the Christian fold, bringing them out of the Muslims, bringing them from their Christians, wherever they find themselves. God has come. He has sent out his angels, and they are gathering the children of God. Those who are not used to the system, to this defiled world, God is separating them. Nothing evil shall befall them. Nothing evil shall befall them wherever they are. Nothing evil. Jehovah God will protect them from the destruction that is going on in the world. Therefore, separate yourself and keep yourself holy. Righteous practices should be carried out wherever you see evil, wherever you see evil men, wherever you see things that defile unclean things, separate yourself. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 17. That separate yourself from them. Come out from their midst. Touch nothing. On, don't touch these unclean things. So this is the information we are giving you. Thank you for viewing. We still remain true Christ witness. A.P. Christopher, or the brother of the cross and star here in Uganda. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for listening. And remain blessed. May God bless you.